and rewind some of this if you want to practice some of the other poses instead. We'll come up to tabletop and then tuck toes into downward facing dog. We'll start here in that long inhale and exhale. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right knee to right wrist, half dead pigeon, we call this one. Yep. And then work your left leg back. Yeah, so you're welcome to stay in pigeon. This is option one, right? And even if you're going to do French barmaid, it's really good to kind of like hang out in pigeon for a second, right? Pull that right hip back, left hip forward. And she's going to stay upright because we're going right into that French barmaid. If you wanted to, you could lean your body forward. Here's where you could also use a block under your right hip even if you're going to try the barmaid. So for the barmaid, she's a walker right hand to the inside of that right foot. And I like to be up on the fingertips, right? It just feels like you get this little lift for your chest, which is great. Now think of that external rotation. Left arm will come up and back, externally rotating. And again, flex your left foot if you tend to cramp and bend your left knee to grab that foot. Here's where you could use the strap too. So this is phase one. And this feels really great just to do that. So open her chest, roll back, retracting that scapula. And you can kick for a moment here just to feel like um, that quad is warmed up. Now, when we start to do the French bar med, uh, you don't need to kick. You, because you've kicked a lot, because you've done that resistance, it should be warm enough to let it stretch a little more. So if you don't kick and just bring it in, does it come in a little more? Yeah. So then she's going towards. This is phase two. Here, keep the hand down for a sec. Phase two. Are you okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, you're my model today. <laughs> so she's just wrapping that arm around. I say just. This is really hard. It took me years to, to, to do, to open the quad, the hip flexors, everything. So don't think it's just. But she's. this is the phase two where you get it wrapped into your arm, your elbow crease, right? Phase two. Phase three, make sure you are level, right? You're not going to lean over. You can be up against a wall, which is a really good option. Right arm will come up. And she reaches it back. And maybe she just goes here for now. Yep. Maybe that's it. When she does that, push your head back into your hand. Yeah. See, she's opening the chest that way. Phase three. Next phase, she's reaching and maybe she grabs the hand. And then the unique mermaid, <laughs> she somehow gets it on her foot. <laughs> and it probably won't sit. It may not stay today. Yeah. But she gets it on her foot. Ta-da! <laughs> the French barmaid. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and this is what happens in class half the time. But you did it. <laughs> yeah, it'll shake her stuff out. So you can try that. You can stop, rewind it every time you like. And um, figure it out. So the key thing here is that external rotation. You can get up and clean it and just shake it out if you want. The key is that external rotation, right? And then practice that for a while. You don't have to grab the foot. Just keep rolling it back, rolling it back, rolling it back. All those exercises are good. Do these a lot. Do these a lot. Get up against a wall. Do When I showed her last night, you take your thumbs against a doorway and push in so you get this stretch across the chest. The other thing is stretching your quad. So we've done quite a few quad stretches through the class. You could do more. All right, so you exhale, release that. And then tuck your left toes, swing it back, snoop downward dog. I'd do a three-legged snoop dog, <laughs> shake it out. <laughs> you get a little wet on the mat. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Turn the mat over if you spilled your beer like we did. <laughs> All right, shake it out, that right leg. And then we'll go to the other side, left leg up. And half a uh, dead pigeon here. Left knee to wrist, stretch that leg across the mat. And again, you can just stay here. Enjoy that bit of a hip opener stretch. Think about pulling your left hip back, your right hip forward. Oh, it's feeling good. And just breathe. Number one, you breathe. Take the left hand now to try the pose. Left hand in front. Breathe. Stop there. Breathe again. And now that right arm is going to externally rotate. Reach up and back. And you're also doing a little retraction of scapula. We do whole other classes on that. So if you're not sure about that, you can find one of those. And I even like bend the elbow a little bit and feel it, make it relaxed. You know, let that shoulder relax. Now, either with a strap, and if you tend to um, cramp, you flex your foot. That will help not cramping, right? And she's got it there. You can flex her point, then once you're up there. 
if you're not doing the full version, you could kick the foot back and get that quad opening and, and, and um, heat up in the quad. Even if you are doing it, maybe do that for a couple seconds and then release the resistance to bring the foot in closer. Now she can bring the foot in closer, wrap it around the elbow, phase, next phase, and just hang out there, right? And she's still breathing really well. Now you make sure you kind of use your left hand to kind of figure out, man, am I balanced or not? Do I need a wall? <laughs> and then you take that left arm up and back. Yes. And you hold, hang out there. Push the head back. You get a good neck stretch. She's hanging out there. Next phase. Slow it down. Every time you're trying one of these 14 or slow it down. Slower than you think. Breath first. Move second. Right now she's got the hands and she's uh, stretching open the chest. And one side's always different. There's one side I can do pretty easily. Other side, <laughs> <laughs> it takes a while. Let me tell you. <laughs> it takes a while. Now, she wanted to add her beer for the full French marmaid. <laughs> See how this, at least we don't have a full beer. I know. Which way is better? On the heel? Yeah. Boom. Now we got it. <laughs> now we got it. <laughs> Man, she just do that. The first time she did that on her own without even anyone putting it on there in class, the whole class erupted like, ah! <laughs> right? Remember that? Oh, uh, so, oh, yeah. <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah. Classic. All right, take a few breaths once you're there. And then slowly as you came in is the way you go out. You release one hand. You release the other hand. Nice. And come back to your three-legged Snoop Dogg. It feels really good after that pose to give her a little shake out. Woo, yes. Shake her, shake her, shake it. <laughs> yeah. Lower it down. Nice. And then shift your weight forward to the belly. All the way down. Just flip over onto the back. And we're going to do drunken money shot. <laughs> Thank you all for joining in. This badass girl I'm so thankful for in my life. She's so cool and hustles every day, just like our squad. <laughs> She's true thuggy. I'm going to get to leave. check out this video. Late, late. Till the next episode.